So, if you place your crossfire transmitter close to your HD0 goggles, the goggles will shut down. But the same problem happens if the transmitter gets close to the power cable of the goggles. If the first case does not occur too often, mainly when you fly, the second situation can happen. This problem starts when your transmitter power is higher or equal to 250 mW, like in this case. The same problem is encountered on Avatar HD goggles. On the 500 mW the problem is worse. Now the system shutdown happens from a greater distance. As you can see here. If the crossfire transmission power is higher, the shutdown process will happen even from a greater distance. By placing a ferrite cable clip, you'll obtain a low-pass filter. And the electromagnetic interference radiated by the crossfire transmitter will be attenuated. Now, let's check if the situation has improved or not. We have the transmitter set on the same power of 500 milliwatts. By moving the radio across the power cable and close to the goggles, you see that now I must be closer to the goggles in order to shut down the system. So, by using the ferrite cable clip, the situation improved. In the next test, I will check the case when the crossfire transmission power is 250 mW. And, surprise, surprise, you can see that right now the system is immune to the perturbation generated by the crossfire transmitter on this power. The schematic for this filter is straightforward. You must use two ceramic capacitors and one electrolytic capacitor connected between the power cables black and yellow wires. The HD0 goggles accept any 2 up to 6S battery, so the electrolytic capacitor must work at least 25.2 volts and must be a capacitor with low ESR. Now let's check if the situation has improved or not by using this low pass filter composed of several capacitors and one inductor. The transmission power of the crossfire module is 500 milliwatts, as you already saw. Now the situation improved significantly. To shut down the goggles, the transmitter's antenna must exceed the implemented filter and be placed close to a section of the power cable that is not protected in any way. In conclusion, you can easily alleviate or even solve this interference problem by using several electronic components that do not cost more than 2 or 3 bucks. In order to improve the presented solution, the capacitors must be placed inside the goggles or left outside but inside the goggles must be placed other ceramic capacitors. In this mode you will implement a better pi type filter.